What's up everyone? It's Raven Maureen and last weekend and this weekend there was a huge Simplicity and McCall sale at Joann's and of course I picked up some things. So I'm not even going to hold you. I just want to get into it. So first thing I want to talk about are the Nomi patterns. So Nomi is actually under the McCall's category. So that means that whenever there is a McCall sale, there is also a Nomi sale. So I went and got a couple of ones that were available in my local Joann's. And so I don't know if you guys know Beauty Jador. Um, her name is Nikki Brooks, I think, in real life. And so she has two gorgeous, 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 gorgeous patterns. Um, this dress, which I think is absolutely stunning, and then this coat, which has just been taking the sewing world by storm, in my opinion. And I am a huge fan of Nikki. Um, before I became a blogger or vlogger, I actually would follow her on Pinterest and I thought that she had the most amazing taste and just wardrobe. And so to see her as a Nomi pattern designer, I am super excited and just overjoyed by what she has brought to the table um, for the sewing patterns. Next, I picked up Aronica's pattern. I love this skirt here. I also love the bustier top as well. I'm thinking, summertime, honeymoon, possibly, or something. Something has to happen with this outfit. Absolutely love it. I love Aronica's personality and what she also brings to the sewing community as well. So super excited to sew this up. Now I'm gonna get into some of the McCall's patterns that I bought yesterday. Now, mind you, some of these patterns did come out in their early spring collection, but my Joann's was kind of late and kind of just didn't have those patterns when I needed them or wanted them and so I picked them up this time and I'm so excited because I just love a lot of these McCall patterns like pretty good so this is McCall's 8361 and it's just gorgeous like I have no other words besides perfection this is McCall's 8341. I know specifically that I would love to make this for a wedding that I have in October. Mimi G made a really great uh, version of it that I think is just absolutely gorgeous. I'm not sure yet if I want to do the two-tone, but we'll see. So I picked up uh, McCall's 8312 and I actually picked up both sizes because I noticed that the waist, I think, on these, yeah, the waist, and that includes like design and ease. It was just like super large, even for the extra small. And I was like, maybe this is a misprint. I was like, it's $1.99, I'll pick up both sizes. And so here I am. So I think this is actually really cute. I would definitely take this one uh, VC and just like maybe make it like above the knee or go full maxi with this because I do feel like it is an it, it can be an overwhelming dress, right? And so with my frame being a little bit smaller or shorter, I don't want something to overpower me too much. So I either have to go like mini or just total maxi. And it's so funny because <laughs> the lady who was ringing me up, she kind of like paused when she saw both envelopes. And I was like, they're two different patterns. And so I get that strange look a lot sometimes in Joann's when the cashier is ringing me up and I have two envelopes that virtually look identical, but I always just tell them, hey, like this has one set of sizes, this has another set of sizes. And a lot of times I can fall, depending on the season, what I eat, how I'm feeling, <laughs> I can fall between sizes. So I often buy both envelopes. So I picked up again, two envelopes of McCall's 8357. I also buy two sizes whenever I pick up vintage patterns. Um, the cut is always, it always comes off a little different for me. And so um, I really love like that sailor neckline. I just thought it was just super, super feminine and beautiful. So hopefully I get to this 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 summer, but if I don't, I feel like this is just so classic that it, it'll it'll probably translate for many seasons to come. So I also picked up two versions of this pattern as well. This is 8358. I have been like goo goo eyed over this since I saw it on their website, like pretty much at the top of the year. And it's basically a wrap dress. It's a vintage pattern. I 
and I think it's reversible is what it's telling me in the line drawings here. Um, but I really love view B that crisscross, but I mean, it seems like, like, again, it seems like you can do either version and you're going to have the same dress. So I can't wait to make this, you guys. Then I picked up McCall's 8368. Um, Okay, so this was under like the coordinates, like athleisure um, section in their catalog, but correct me if I'm wrong, but this would be super cute on a cruise slash honeymoon, which I know I have coming up. So I'm about to have all of that out. Okay, so then the other McCall patterns that I picked up, they were just some patterns that I had been eyeing for a long time. And again, I think my local Joann's has some inventory issues. And so I hadn't been able to find them um, for a while. And so I picked these up. So that is McCall's 8098. I've been in love with these pants for the absolute longest. I think this would be great for like just something to lounge in. I love a wide leg pant in the summer and the spring. So just gorgeous. McCall's 8165. I know you're probably like, what is she thinking? But okay, there's a story with this. I was in Bucky's, right? When we were traveling uh, to Virginia, North Carolina, and a, I saw a girl, she had an all black one like this. And I was like, I don't think she made it, but I was just like, I know a pattern like that. And I was like, this is super cute how she wore it. I want to make one and be cute like her on road trips. So totally inspired by a stranger to pick this up and I love this jumpsuit so I mean I don't really have a timeline on when I want to make this but I just thought it was really cute okay McCall's 8104 I actually have this pattern in my stash I made it a couple of years ago and I struggled with this pattern because I actually bought the wrong size envelope and I had to like kind of finagle it and the dress just never sat right. It just didn't sit right in the chest and bust area. And so I just want to give myself another chance to do this right <laughs> and do right by this pattern because I still love it. And again, this was something I hadn't seen in my Joann's in a long time. And so I picked it up just kind of as a refresh. Then I picked up 7576, which is very similar to this pattern. And you know, when something's a dollar ninety nine and you can't decide which one to get, you just get both, right? <laughs> I love these pants. So cute. Okay, so let's get into the simplicity pattern. So I actually negotiated for a stop along our road trip. Um, and I was like, we have to stop stop at a Joann's. Um, the sale ends today, like we need to go. So my husband, who is extremely understanding and wonderful, we actually made the stop in Charlotte because I was like, Charlotte might have like the best chances of of having all the patterns. And they did in four boxes that I went through, except for one little pattern that I wanted. So hopefully the next sale will go around. I find it in my local Joann's. But let's get into these simplicity patterns. Simplicity 9754. This is a new Mimi G pattern. I love the pants. I love, love, love the pants. And if you look at the line illustration, it's in the details. Like, it's in the details for me. And I, okay, so if you're on the fence about this pattern, I highly recommend that you watch the tutorial that she posted because I was curious about this pattern. And then I was like, Oh, I get it. Like there's so many lines, there's so many details, there's so many things that make this pattern great. Highly recommend. Highly. All right, picked up Simplicity 9742. And I just this just gave me like vintage vibes. I really love the halter one here. I mean, I, I, to be honest with you, you can't go wrong with any of these views. Like great summer dress, just like 1950s like cookout vibes like I just loved it so I really like that detail right here I think that's super gorgeous and flattering and then like I said the halter it's just precious to me like I love it 9758 which is Norris's pattern I picked up this 
I don't know if this is what he's calling it, but I'm calling it the hoochie daddy suit because this is this is something that I would want to see my husband in. And so I was like, I want this. I will gladly make it for my husband for um, our honeymoon. He's already told me he wants the longer shorts because he's taller, but we'll see about that later. You know, y'all know how that goes, you know, y'all know. So this is a Jiffy pattern, 97.39. Okay, so it's, I think it's considered like an apron dress and it wraps like all the way in, around the entire body. I really love this maxi here and I've kind of always wanted like a dress like this. And so if you look at the line drawings here, you see how it folds open and out like that. Um, I'm just a little concerned about this just being held together by ties. So when I make this, I might look at options to maybe either add like some sort of snap or button to it. I haven't quite figured that out yet, but I still think this is a really, really nice vintage pattern. This is 97.49. I love this keyhole detail right there. I think this would be gorgeous as a top or even a dress. Like, I'm just saying, you might see both. I'm just saying. <laughs> 97.56, this girl on the cover, she's just so cool. Like, this is the girl, this is it. <laughs> but um, I love this, it's like super loungy and I'm so glad that Simplicity kind of had like the the forethought and know how to like make this a pattern because I've been seeing this up and down the runway for like the last year and I'm like I've been trying to like figure out how to piecemeal this pattern together and to see it in one envelope makes me so excited and I don't know I don't have the fabric for this yet but again I'm making it. So I did pick up Simplicity 9740. Again, I got two. Um, I did look at the at the um, the measurements, and again, I fall right on the line. And so, depending on how much ease I may want, um, I just got to measure it out and whatnot. I, you know, that'll be the determining factor on what size I use. But I adore View B, which is the longer view, and it's got a vent in the back which I think is super sophisticated. So I can't wait to make this. Simplicity 9041. I really like, um, I guess it's view A. I like her dress um, really just a lot. I think it would be gorgeous. Maybe not necessarily right now, but probably like fall maxi dress. Like I think that could actually be really cute. And then I picked up Simplicity 86. 35 I this is one of those I had it in my stash I messed it up I cut a size too big and then I used this fabric the fabric wasn't agreeing with it and so again I believe in second chances so I don't know when I'll cut into this but I just wanted to have it in my stash to give it another try all right you guys that's all I have for my pattern haul this week um, if you like this video, don't forget to comment, give me a like, and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.